All right, so today I want to go over something uh, we all learned before back in elementary school. I feel like this is a concept that, even though it seems simple, a lot of us seem to get confused. I've mean, noticed in my personal experience working with high school kids that I still see high school students struggling as they add two numbers together, or add two fractions together, and not being able to find that common denominator and do it all mentally. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go over kind of the way that we've learned, a lot of us learned it in elementary, and then I'll show you another way, which is a very conceptual way that'll help us kind of put the pieces together and how to add fractions. Okay, let's get started. So here we have the common denominator method. So we have two numbers, one half and one third, and we want to add those two numbers together. So the pretty straightforward method is we got to find a common denominator between the two denominators of each term and then when we do that we can multiply the top and bottom by the number that makes that common denominator. So if we look here we have one half and one third. So if we want to find a common denominator we'll just times those two together and as we know two times three equals six. So our common denominator is six meaning that our denominator fraction for both of these terms will be six. So again, what we need to do is we need to times the top and bottom. Oops. So we'll times the, the top and bottom by 3 for the first term. And the second term, we'll times the top and bottom by 2. That way, we'll get a common denominator of 6. So when we do that, we get a new fraction. We get 3, 6 plus 2, 6. All right, so then we can add those two together, right? So we have 3, 6 plus 2, 6 equals 5, 6. Again, 3, 6 plus 2, 6 equals 5, 6. And make note of my cadence of the sound that I do that. You can see that it kind of goes well together, but when I do 1 half plus 1 third equals 5, 6, that sounds a little bit off. So that's one way of knowing that you've added your fractions correctly. But again, this is a way that we've learned in high school or in middle school, or I mean in elementary school. And next I'll show you a conceptual way of doing it. Okay, so again I have one half plus one third. So let's try to do something that we'll be able to visually see um, adding together our fractions and be able to see that common denominator in place. So if one half, let's say I draw a square and make and cut this vertically in half. And I'll shade that in. So right there I have one half. All right, now with one third, I'll create a square of the same size, but this time I'll cut it horizontally into one thirds. Then I'll shade that in, and now I have one third. So let's go back to our red box here, our one half. So if I look at my blue box here, if I try to put that over without the shaded, region, just that thirds, into the red box, I see something significant here. So let me do that. So I'll just put in the blue box, remember to cut in the thirds. Alright, so what do you see there? So you look, now our portions, or our box, is cut into six. In this case, I have three six. Okay, if I do the same with my blue box, this time use the red, and put in the halves, again, I have six of the box. And now, if I was to put that in the fraction, I can see for my first box, I have three out of six shaded. In my second box, I have two out of 6 shaded. So now we can combine those two together. So we have 3 6 plus 2 6 equals 5 6. So did you see what I did there? I essentially created my own common denominator when I combined those two different boxes. It's pretty significant. Let's uh, think about that for a sec and maybe we'll do a practice problem. Okay, so let's try to do a practice problem together. So I have two fractions again, I have two-thirds plus one-fourth, okay? So 
Alright, the first thing we did was we create a red box and a blue box. And basically a box for two thirds and the box for one fourths. So if I do that, and that, and then I'll do two vertical cuts to get my two thirds. Oh, actually, I'll shade it in two more to get my two thirds. Okay, so I'll make a similar block, a similar blue box as the red. This time I will do horizontal cuts to make it into fourths. I'll shade that in, so that's one fourth. Okay, so remember that what we did. So basically what we did was we took, so we looked at our red box here. We looked at our blue box. And with our red box, or with our blue box, we put that in our red box. So basically what I'm saying is that we put those horizontal cuts inside our red box. So those horizontal fourths cuts. So if I do that, this one, four. Okay, so again, notice how I just cut. I cut a little bit more, and I have 12 individual small boxes. And if I add that all, add all the shaded region up, I have 8 out of 12 shaded boxes. Okay, if I do the same with my blue box, but imply my vertical cuts. Okay, again, I have... 12 individual boxes, it's like 3 out of 12, so 3 out of 12 shaded boxes. Okay, so looks like I have my common denominators, so now I can add them across, and again it'll be 8 twelfths plus 3 twelfths is 11 twelfths. Again, that's 8 twelfths plus 3 twelfths equals 11 twelfths. All right. Okay, it looks like we're done here. I'll just square that. So now you know how to add fractions together with a visual concept. Hopefully this will help you be able to understand a little bit more when you're adding fractions and hopefully be able to use that um, common den denominator method where you multiply the top and bottom and do all that and do it all in your head. Be able to do that real, a little bit faster and understand the whole process as to why that happens. All right. Now go have fun.